moles, and Avogadro. I put this in, hey ladies, take my number. Look, it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's Avogadro's number. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, let's do a quick lesson on mass number. Uh, this is like a good reminder. If you're a chemist, you probably know this because uh, you've been doing this a lot in your chemistry class, but this is important. So uh, when we describe an element, for example, carbon, we say carbon-14, for example. So this bottom number is the atomic number. That tells you which element it is. So for example, like in this case, carbon and 6, those are actually related. In other words, this one right here, this bottom number right here, that tells you which element it is. So this is the 6 element. However, uh, so this is actually, just so you know, this is the number of uh, protons. Now, mass number, what is that? That's the number of nucleons, which is technically the protons plus the neutrons. So this is the number of protons plus neutrons. That's called the mass number. And that can be different. So this right here can vary. So for example, you can have a mass number like carbon-14. You can also have carbon-12. So this top number here can vary. This one can't. You can't have carbon and 7 because that's a different element. You know, carbon and 6 are kind of redundant. That's why we don't say like carbon-614. We just say carbon-14 because then we know carbon and then we know the mass number is 14. So we care mostly about the mass number in terms of what we're going to be working with here. So remember what the mass number is. In this case right here, the mass number then would be just, you know, 14, for example. So now we're ready for an important equation, and it's from your data booklet. It goes like this, n equals n over na, like lowercase n equals capital N over na. So what's the meaning of this? Well, first of all, uh, I think it's important to know what na is here. This is the number of particles in one mole. Okay, so what does everything mean? Well, n is what's called uh, the number of moles. That's an important thing in chemistry, at least, and we certainly need it in physics. Capital N is the number of atoms present in total. And Na, this, like I said, is the number of particles per mole. Uh, that's what we call Avogadro's constant. So that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23, you know, particles per mole. And that's in your data booklet, so you don't have to worry. I think it's important this exam tip right here that the number of moles, in other words n, is going to be the mass you have divided by what's called the molar mass. So this is hugely important. In fact, I think you should memorize this. There's not many equations I think you should memorize. This, I think, is one of them. It's really, really helpful. So um, what does this do for you? Well, it tells you the number of moles, this lowercase n, is going to be the mass you have. So let's say they tell you, oh, you have uh, 7 grams of this material. Fine, then the mass is 7 grams. And what's this molar mass? Well, that's the mass of one mole of this material. And here's the key part, that an element that has a mass number a has a molar mass then of a grams. That's the key piece. So that means that if you're told, hey, this thing has a... Um, Let's say, for example, its mass number is 12. Then you know that one mole of it uh, is 12 grams. In other words, it's 12 grams per mole. That's a really, really important piece. I think this is very, very important for you to know. So let's do an example like this. What do chemists use to make guacamole? Instead of avocados, it's avogadros. <laughs> All right, so let's put this all into action here. We have 42 grams of carbon-14. So keep in mind, what does this mean? That means we're sitting there with carbon-14 like this. Uh, you didn't have to know it was 6, but just so you know it is 6. So we care about that it's carbon, and that win means we know that A then must be 14. All right, how many moles are present? And that's not so obvious. So I think it's, it's important maybe to consider that equation I just told you before, right? That the uh, N, the number of moles, is equal to the mass you have divided by the molar mass. Now why is this helpful? Because, well, okay, what's the mass that we have? Do we have a mass? Yes. We're told that we have 42 grams, so we're going to say that's 42 grams. Well, what about the molar mass? Remember I showed you that the mass number, A, that tells you uh, how many grams per mole. In other words, this is 14 grams for every mole. And look, the grams will cancel out, the mole comes on top, you have N equals this many moles. So we have 42 grams divided by 14 grams per mole. Let's do that maybe on our calculator. So I'll do that here. So I'll say it's 42 over 14. All right, well, that's going to give me 3. So that means then I have n equals 3. So that means I have 3 moles. OK, so in part B, we want to know how many atoms of carbon-14 are there, like how many actual you know, atoms are there. Well, then we can use the equation that N equals you know, capital N over Na, where remember, 
little n, that's the number of moles, well we just found that, and a is Avogadro's number, and capital N is the number that we're actually looking for. So we want to get this capital N by itself. Well that capital N by itself is just going to be lowercase n times na, so it's going to be like this. Do I know these numbers? I sure do. N is 3 moles, I know that because I just found it. Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And I just need to multiply these two numbers together. So I'll use my good old calculator and see what we get here. So I have this number times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. I end up with this number, 1.806 times 10 to the 24 atoms. Now, how many significant figures am I allowed? Well, I'm given two here, and uh, that's about it. Well, and two, I suppose, because of the 14. So that means I'm going to say then my answer to two significant figures then will be just 1.8. I'll say that's times 10 to the 24. And it helps to put units, so I'll say atoms. And there we go. We're done. Yay.